Look, I just want a television show where the guy character is like, you're not like the other girls. And the girl character is like, yo, hold up. What the fuck is wrong with those other girls? <laughs> I mean, there's all those pop songs too, right? The guy's like, oh, yo, you don't know you're beautiful. Just like painting these women as totally unaware of their own selves, their own beauty, their own sexual prowess. And I'm like, does that insecurity really turn you on? I mean, that's what that song's saying, right? Like, girl, you think so low of yourself? Come hop on my dick and maybe that'll give your life some purpose. Because <laughs> God forbid, he finds a sexy woman who knows she's fucking sexy, and that makes him feel like, damn, I can't believe I'm with her, as opposed to, wow, like, I really hit the jackpot with this one. Really keeping this girl locked in this little bubble of a solar system where my dick's the sun and her sexual organs are just glowing planets revolving around it. Because <laughs> God forbid that her physical beauty is the most important, if not only, attribute mentioned. And so now I'm going through the Rolodex of my mind of all the media, like all the television shows and movies and even songs. And I've really started to analyze how all of that is in relation to the fact that I'm a woman and a woman of color at that. And so you know how like rap's my favorite kind of music? Rap is my favorite genre of music. But that shit is so fucking misogynistic. I mean, here I am, just like earbuds in, trying to listen, groove along, and suddenly I'm like, oh shit. He's literally talking about getting with a girl who hasn't gone through puberty yet. And not art, not music, not anything can escape that. 